Hi, this is Travis with Comics Limited. I haven't done one of these in a long time, so I figured I should probably talk about my talk about where I am with my comic goals. You know, as I showed in this video, what my comic goals were this year. You know, the one that I never published and gave out to all of you. So, my comic goals this year were uh, to are to complete a run of the original Marvel Star Wars all the way through the one through four issues of Return of the Jedi, and to get a run of G.I. Joe. So, without further ado, let me show you the comics I got this week and, you know, and it'll give you kind of an update. G.I. Joe number one back there. And I just picked up a G.I. Joe number 2021, 20, which is the next really big key. So, let me, let's get to those comics. Let me show you them, as a friend would say, Jambo style, which I still don't really know what Jambo style is, but, I think it's pretty cool. And it's pretty much the way I show comics anyway. So we'll go there right now. Record. So as part of the G.I. Joe collection I'm doing, I'm actually collecting other things too, like European Missions, which is a cool G.I. Joe Transformers comic book. Pretty much anything by Larry Hama, the create the original creator by of G.I. Joe. A good friend of mine uh, collecting casually, Ryan sold me these a few months back which I never got to show on a video these are really sweet and then the books I picked up this week I got myself a number eight in really nice condition I got a number 11 and a number 12 and those with that with those I actually have 1 through 12 now complete run I say 1 through 12, but you didn't see the number 1 yet. And then I picked up a 21. It's not in as great of condition, but I got it for a great price. So that's like one of those books that everybody talks about as being one of the best G.I. Joe books of all time. And then, of course, this wouldn't be complete without sharing my number 1 today. So these are the G.I. Joe books I picked up this week. Not only did I get some G.I. Joe, but I also got some Star Wars this week, too. So let me pop these guys out of the way. I got issue 63. I got issue 46. Kind of a weird demonic cover. It's really interesting. I got issue 32. And that one is... Uh, it's got a little damage up here, but... <laughs> Such an interesting story that the the rebels are now joined with the with the uh, Jawas. A issue thirty three with a with a red Luke sight Luke lightsaber and uh, and a green lightsaber of a guy with really cool eighties sunglasses, and then a pre story of uh, Ben Kenobi story back in the day. Um, also, red lightsaber. It's so always so funny because you know you see the red lightsaber, you're like, oh, it's the dark side. But it's interesting throughout the whole series, the red lightsaber showed up in the hands of the good guys. I really hope you enjoyed those comics. Um, I'm glad I was able to show them to you. And you know, have a great day and a 